Hey everybody, it's Robin here. Thanks for joining me today. I'm doing a full moon reading. Uh, we have the oh, harvest moon coming up on September 10th. Okay, so this is a really, really important full moon. This is going to be a, a really good moon to um, actually collect your moon water. All you have to do is put water in a sealed vessel. You can either charge it in a windowsill or put it outside if you have accessibility to do that. You just want to make sure that no bugs get into it, right? Or any other creepy crawlies. But anyway, um, Harvest Moon, Full Moon reading. I'm going to pull a card from the Moonology Oracle card deck. And I was going to use the Deviant Moon Tarot, but my guides asked me to use the Witch's Tarot instead. So let me just give that a couple shuffles. So this reading's for everyone, it's for the collective. So hopefully you find some really good information here, some insight. Uh, I'm being guided to just do a deck cut on the Moonology card and let's kick off your reading here. Really beautiful card, <clears throat> Surrender to the Divine. Wow, okay, so this is gonna be a tough one for a lot of people, okay? Um, just really being able to trust the universe, you know, uh, release, relinquish control to something that you can't see, okay? This is where faith comes in. It's funny, I was just thinking this morning, like if you don't have faith, what is driving you, okay? And now we get this card, surrender to the divine, okay? So, I mean, honestly, it can just bring such a contentment you know, the angels have me, my spirit guides have me, the universe has me, however you want to call your faith, you know, proclaim it, surrendering your troubles, surrendering your manifestations, it just takes such a weight off of your shoulders, okay, so let me pull a few more cards here, I'll start working with the witch's tarot, I really think that we're really going to, you know what they say, you reap what you sow, this should be a really big month, like the remainder of September, things that you have been asking the universe for. But in, if you're in misalignment, if you're not surrendered to it, how are you ever supposed to receive from it? Okay, so it's a bit of a conundrum, I must say. Okay, so <sighs> this could be why. I pulled the strength card, okay? You have to feel like you're in control of your life and there are things that you can control, but the bigger picture is something that you don't have any control of, okay? You can control the vehicle you drive or the public transportation that you utilize, the clothes that you wear, you know, to a certain extent you can control your life. It takes strength to acknowledge a higher power um, and, and really sort of become one with it. I think one of the best ways to do that, at least for me, is meditation because you can then become aware of all these other spirits out there or your divine spirit, your guides, you know, and it's it's actually quite comforting. And you can see how this lion is very well rested and he's like fully just, I kind of got the word compliant, but that's that's not the word that, I'm trying to channel here from one of my guides. Hold on for a second, let me pull another card. So it does actually take great faith and great strength to align with the universe instead of fighting against it, you know? This could be also a really good time for, and this is a very specific uh, message for those of you that are activists or you have very passionate beliefs against a system and you're trying to tear it down and you're using an opposing negative energy to take down a negative force that's never going to work is what my guides are saying okay it's just all it does is increase the negativity at the vortex of the issue okay so um we've got the eight of pentacles so you might have to do a little bit more study into what the divine actually means to you. And doing this under a full moon, if you can sit in the light of the full moon, if you have access to it, who knows if you're gonna get clouds or whatever, you don't have to sit outside. I know where I live, we have a bit of a mosquito problem, so you won't find me sitting outside under a moon, but open your curtains or you know, just do whatever you can to access a little bit of full moon. 
and then really start digging into maybe your ancestry if you've ever thought of doing that you guys this could be a really really good time to do that um there's some of those you know really popular mainstream ways of tracing your genealogy but the eight of pentacles is asking you to dig a little bit deeper into what makes the universe tick so that you can even if you don't understand it because it's quite vast and the the longer you go on your path the more that is going to be revealed okay but you have to be and this is kind of where <clears throat> I'm getting that word compliant again, but it's more like being pliant than compliant. It's like being able to mold yourself to what beliefs are unfolding within you and what you have held. This could also be a really interesting time for some of you that have followed one sort of path for most of your lifetime. Some of it could fall away as you're presented with different information about what is actually going on in the universe and with source and, you know, all of that stuff there. So <clears throat> this could be where you need to sort of relax and, and follow the path that you're being guided down instead of something that was a little bit more rigid, possibly when you were growing up, you know, where, you know, a lot of people are kind of channeled into uh, one sort of belief system, but it's okay at this point in your life to have multiple, um, you want to think of them as being overlapping or intertwining in, instead of um, being at odds with each other because there's so much that exists at the same time. You want to think of all the layers that are going on out there and you just you don't have to oppose them okay you can just really sort of okay well this works with this and it's okay if i believe in my church and i believe in unicorns you know what i mean or just you know i pray to a certain god but i also really like dragons or you know um i believe in ufos and and all of these things you can still sort of they all have a certain place in your life. And this is what the Eight of Pentacles is saying, you know, you can really, there's room for everything, you know, whatever intrigues you, whatever like sparks up your faith, there's room for it all. So you don't have to just select one, okay? Um, let's see. So we've got the Six of Pentacles. So this is gonna be very important for you, okay? The more that you sort of relax into the universe and, understand that it's okay to have multiple things going on in your spiritual life you know what i mean um you could pray and meditate whatever it is that works for you you know and <clears throat> i don't mind if you guys put in the comments what it is that you do to practice your faith because that can sometimes spark other people to try that okay so anyway getting back to the six of pentacles it's funny how having faith and being comfortable and just being relaxed even though you're incredibly powerful it's okay to rest and let the universe do the work for you because what we're doing with our human bodies it is it's not even on any level of a match for what we can do with our mind and our spiritual life okay so surrendering to the divine um i'm just gonna do one more moonology card here and you know what expect powerful change as a result of sort of you know just everything is okay whatever I believe in is okay whatever I want for myself is okay because we're really taught limits as we grow up you know um, Steve Harvey does a really wonderful video about how our parents can really and not everybody's parents but they can really set limits on us like oh you'll never be able to succeed at doing that you maybe want to look him up every now and again because he's quite inspirational but you know if you start with surrendering to the divine and finding strength and reciprocity and and be able to go into things with an open mind with the eight of pentacles i mean this message you can expect powerful change and this says a new moon eclipse so if you think of how many days there are typically between a full moon, which is happening on September 10th, and the new moon, which is around 14 to 15 days after that. I mean, 
your life could really flip upside down in just a few days by just kind of doing things a little bit different and looking at things with a new perspective. So this is a really exciting Harvest Moon reading for you guys. And I'm going to wrap it up and I'll see you back here another time. Okay, take care. Bye.